Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We've got another fresh one here for you today. This is the OTS 38 revolver. Has a swing out cylinder. Takes five rounds. Chambered in 7.62 by 42 millimeter. And it's on a little speed loader here. Got some odd features with this one. Let's check it out. Let's look at the controls. Actually, even though this is a slightly unusual revolver, the controls are standard. You got left in the track that will swing the cylinder out to the side. If you want to close it, you really got to use physics and give it a slap and go in the direction that the cylinder has popped out. So if it's like this, you would want to go up. If it's like this, you'd want to go down, that sort of thing. Because if you go the other way, it's you can get it, but it's a little, little more effort. Like this, yeah, it's it's a little funky. At, at the very, <laughs> if you're not sure, just flail around and it'll get in there eventually. All right, down on the track pad, we'll cock the hammer, pull the trigger, go bang. It's also a double action, so you can pull the trigger just by itself and it'll cock the hammer as well. Press up on the track pad, or actually hold up on the track pad and it'll release the physics a little bit so you can give her a spin, release it to let it lock back in. And right on the track pad, we'll flip it around backwards so it's a little easier to load from this side. Great. Let's see what attachments fit on this sucker. Well, we got some unusual things on this gun to begin with. Look, it's got a laser built in. Yay! Yes, that top barrel looking thing is not a barrel it is the laser so the barrel is actually on the bottom and you can put a compensator on it and you can put no no suppressor well if you look at that cylinder gap you can imagine why they don't seal so there's no point in putting a suppressor on it how about a laser well you've already got a laser but you can't put a laser on there how about a red dot well there's no rail so unfortunately that doesn't work how about Yes, you can put rails on it that way by putting the barrel attachment rail adapter. Dooley Hickey Bob, how about stock? Look at that. Now we're talking. No foregrip. No foregrippable area. Let's take a look at the sights. Well, the sights are, it's got a laser, so who cares about sights? But for real, actually, those are pretty good sights all by themselves. You got little white dots. You got a decent size on the front. Decent cutout on the back, not too bad, a little small, but that's right, right good. And in fact, if you can't see the laser, you know you're on target. Bang, bang, bang. Woohoo, nice. All right, before we start the recoil test, let's take a look at these weird rounds. All right, there's five of them. They all go in at once. Ta da! Let's give them a flip. Ooh, that's awfully quiet. Well, apparently they have a really unusual design. There's a piston inside, so there's a powder on this end that pushes a piston, and the piston is what rams into the round and pushes the round forward, and then the piston reseals the chamber. So there's no gas that actually expands out past the round shell. Shell? Yes. It's not brass, is it? It looks like it's copper, which is even weirder. It's a weird thing. Basically, it's self-suppressed and comes with a laser. This is getting really fancy. They also all eject at the same time. That's so for convenient throwing away. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's start the recoil test. Five rounds of uh, 762 by 42 millimeter weirdo piston, piston blast. Ta-da! Folks, I know it's only five rounds, but we have our first perfect 10 ever in the history of this entire series. And with no attachments, technically. So, even the 22s didn't score perfect 10. I'd be interesting to see if I get perfect 10 if I keep firing some more rounds out of here. But I just want to stop and take a moment and say the OTS-38, officially the lowest recoil of anything I've tested so far. Nice. Moving on with the compensator. I don't know why you bother. Another perfect 10. 
So far, so good. Actually, let me look at that real close. I notice it's shooting a little bit low. I'm barely clipping the 10 on this, but it counts. All right, we don't get to put a suppressor on here because we don't need one. So let's put the stock on and see how it does. All right, another perfect 10, but it is firing a little low, I'm noticing. I think I got to aim right about there in order to get it a little higher. I'm, I'm, I was thinking I was aiming about there. I think I got to bring it up a little bit. So it's a little low. I think that could, G, could be just because that's the distance between the laser and the barrel. You see there, I got to get it about there. Yep, that's what's going on. And finally, the most superfluous test I think I've ever done. Stock and compensator. Gee, I wonder what score we'll get. Yep, all tens. You know, at this point, it's really about how steady I am holding it, how good the tracking is on the controller. Uh, the stock does help a little, just kind of smooth things out, but it's really about if I, if I jam the trigger when I pull it, or if I'm really careful and smooth and don't pull all the way back, you know, it's really about uh, a lot of, a lot about discipline at this point, trying to get all tens, but it can be done. Yay. I wasn't sure it could be done in any sort of c consistent manner. There you have it. The OTS 38. It does not need any attachments. It is good to go out of the box. Five rounds. Be nice if it had some more till next time. I will see you. Oh, super sneaky. Oh, throw is pretty good too. Fantastic.